So winter preparations for my hellebores. You can see the leaves are all here. These are some of the first hellebores that I planted here in the garden. So that's them all in there. But what I have to do is trim back all the leaves and down here, the flowers will start coming up. You can just see some buds right there. More of them here. There's one right there. There's another one right there. So I'm going to prune back the canopy of leaves to expose the blooms to the light. And that's what I'm going to do with this bed right now is expose the blooms, the hellebore blooms. Isn't that right, pups? Yeah, so exciting. Hellebore season is coming. Yes, yes. Okay, so what I'm doing with the hellebores is, this is the leaf, and I go right all the way down, very close to the bottom, and I prune it out, very close to the ground. But I have to make sure that I don't hit the blooms themselves, because the whole point of the hellebore are its wonderful blooms in the winter. And what's great is leaves like this one here, full of dead and disease and whatever else, are now gone. So you're clearing out what could be an ill effect to the rest of the plant by now. I'll show you there's some baby ones here. These are all the adult ones. And I just pruned this area out. But here you can see this is a baby hellebore that is, and then I leave those leaves. So I'm taking out a bit of extra kind of detritus. And these, this is this black snake grass, which I've always loved in amongst the hellebore. So you'll be able to see more as I prune this hellebore back. You can see there's more snake grass in underneath there. So all these hellebores will be pruned right back down to the ground. And this will be a clear bed, ready for the blooms to bloom. And then these ferns, you get to see them coming up. And as I'm clearing all these hellebores around here, I'm seeing loads of babies will be coming up and exposing themselves to more light once I've pruned all the mother load of leaves from around the area. And that's a huge amount right there done. A few more down here. There's loads of babies. Here's loads of little baby hellebores. Dog's always interested to see what I'm doing while I'm gardening. Isn't that right, Inkadink? <laughs> Look, she's there. Maya's there. Bear's over there. They've just had a wild game, so they're relaxing. And Inca is exploring my hellebore pruning. Inca, you should get out of there. Come on, get out. You're going to be stepping on all the babe hellebore flowers. The pair of you, honestly. Well, we're halfway through this job right now. So I better keep going before the light is fading. The sun was setting over there. I still have the buckets here with the tires and the big tank. Oh, look. Such play pups. Yes, I've got to keep pruning back the hellebore, my sweet pup. Yes. Yes. Well, the job is done. It's now ferns. They're called 
Oh, I can't remember what those, some people call them mother-in-law's tongue, but I don't like that. But they're a lovely group of ferns. And there's the snake grass, the black snake grass. And down here, there's the buds. There and there and there. These are the buds of the hellebore that will be coming out soon. So that job is another garden job done. Then right pup.